Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have two fun little mods to review for you guys. First up we have a Polaris Doom Buggy and an Outlander 4 Wheeler. Both of these are very fast, they're pretty fun and they're both very dangerous. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to explain a few things regarding these mods. We'll go over the shop and check out some of the specs. Then we'll get these out on the road and see if we can't kill ourselves. Let's take a look. Alright, we'll start on over here with this awesome little four-wheeler. By the way, guys, today's mods are going to be tested out on the Michigan map. This is the Can-Am Outlander XT570 Tricky version 1.0.5. File size for this is 12 megabytes. There's two different engine sizes to choose from. From 45 horsepower up to 57 horsepower. Price in the shop as is is $6,999 with a $95 a day maintenance fee. This has a max speed between 70 and 110 kilometers, depending on the engine size. This also comes with a tow hitch. It is washable. Two different wheel setups to choose from, and you can change the color of the rims. So let's go over to the shop. It's going to be located under cars. There it is right there. Now, if you take it with the Trell Borg, you have a few different variations to choose from between standard, wide tires. Look, they even get even bigger. Wheel weights bigger wheel weights and then back to standard if you take it with the Michelin's a little bit bigger of a tire and then you can take it with the Y tires of course and then back to standard okay engine set up like I said 45 horsepower up to 57 horsepower you just got the two different engine sizes there so let's take a little look around at this this thing is awesome by the way guys both these mods have no air showing up in the log as far as I can see they look error free this guy's a little slippery when you start hitting some high speeds. Just be careful, that's all. Let's jump on it and start it up. Listen. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's try out some lights here first. We got one, two, three, two light settings. I doubt there's any single lights or anything on. Oh, yes, we do. Cool. And hazards. No beacons. Do we have a horn? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How about reverse lights? That's always in. Good thing to have on oh yeah they are they are there nice okay we're gonna take this for a spin like I said it has a hitch on the back you can hook up something small it gets completely quiet once you look in the uh, well the cab view here but what a great little view from here okay let's take this for a sprint bring up my HUD here so you can see my speed 110 kilometers is the max speed there's ditches on this map. You wouldn't even think they were there with this. Okay, look at this thing. Woohoo! Takes a little bit when she she's first. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I hooked that ditch a little funny there. Okay, don't flip over. All right, there we go. It looks pretty cool sitting there. They've got the animation down. Very nice. Looks like he's leaning a little bit. It could be that hill. Yeah, it's the hill. And you can zoom out quite far. Look at that. So I do like the uh, view from here. You can't see the speedometer on the thing. So she slows down pretty fast too. As soon as you take your hand off the gas. Alright. Next up we have this awesome little dune buggy. Fast. It's fun. And it's beautifully made. This is a multicolor mod as well. And it looks good in a multitude of colors, guys. I just happened to take it in orange there. This is the Polaris RZR 2-door version 1.0. The file size for this is 47 megabytes. There is only one engine size to choose from. 294 kilowatts and 400 horsepower. This thing can fly. Wait till you see the torque this thing has. Price in the shop, as is, is $22,495 with a $0 a day maintenance fee. It has a max speed. Well, it says 120, but it actually does 190. Three different wheel setups to choose from in the shop, and it is multicolor. So let's go over to the shop. Under cars, all the way to the end. There it is there. Look at that thing. It's just awesome. Comes in that red right there, right off the bat. Doesn't look too great in that color, but look at the palette of colors to choose from here. Some of these are uh, kind of a metallic too, not that one. Is it that one? Yeah, that one kind of got that look to it. But that thing is beautiful. Looks beautiful on the inside too. We'll take a look at that in a second. So you can uh, just change the tires from stock, aftermarket, and then the aftermarket rims. I like the aftermarket rims. But like I said, it looks great in a bunch of colors. Look at that. 
Like it looks great in that color. This is the one I think I took. Uh, one of them anyway, but that looks awesome. Very, very nice. Okay, let's take a walk around here. And the inside is beautiful too. Look at look at the interior of that. Got a speedometer right in the middle. It works just great. I don't want to go in yet. I want to do a walk around. Because it looks cool from the front, but it looks even better from the back. I like the doors on it. They don't open, unfortunately. But look at the detail in that. Look at the exhaust going around the back. The muffler there. That's awesome. This thing is peppy. You wouldn't believe it. What a great looking vehicle. Okay, let's jump inside. Listen to this. <laughs> it sounds awesome. Okay, let's look inside the cab here. Look at this, guys. Beautiful. Did a fantastic job. So, yeah, you can see the speedometer works. This thing is peppier than any vehicle I've ever seen yet. Okay, let's take an exterior view here. And we'll take it for a quick little spin. So let me bring up my HUD and just watch the peppiness of this. Watch the speedometer. <laughs> this thing's awesome. Look at that, 190. No problem. Let's take it in a little bit quieter inside. See, it's it doesn't really spin out all that easy either, so that's good. Speedometer looks great there. <coughs> Excuse me. This thing is fun, guys. Okay, before I get ahead of myself here, I forgot to test a few things with this. Let's try out some lights. Get the... Oh, they're nice and bright. One, two, three light settings. Okay, is there any signal lights on this? No hazards. Let's see if we get a horn. Oh, it sounds like a train. Okay, and obviously no beacons. Okay, but look how awesome this looks. It looks even better from the back. I love looking at it from that corner. Just that exhaust looks so cool. Tiny little tires on it, but this thing can fly. Is that nitrous oxide on the racks? Look at that. I just cleared that ditch. No problem. Okay, let's take it on back. Just say you'll get around pretty easily using this. We got a big old jump here. We're gonna see if we can get some air. Park back here so I can get some a good run at this. So let's hit the old cruise control. Let's see if we can get some speed here. Get it up to 110. Come on. Except for the tree in front of my face. But I actually landed on my tires. That wasn't a bad little jump. Okay, let's take it on back. Okay, let's start this guy up. I love the sound of this thing. Let's go. Oh, she's touchy. She is touchy. Can we get her up to 190 before we hit that? Come on. Woohoo! Oh, we cleared those trees. Look at that. Right into the next field. Oh, we're hitting hard. <laughs> Look how much we cleared there, guys. Unreal. That is quite the distance. That was the Can-Am Outlander XT570 Tricky version 1.05. Then we have the Polaris RZR two-door version 1.0. Additional information and links can be found down below in the description. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you can leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, 
once you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen then hit the subscribe button and the bell and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day plus my patreon link is just below that if you'd like to help and contribute to the channel it really helps out so until next time take care and I will see you all in the next one